Join us from Bahrain's capital, Manama as Abdulaziz bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, senior media counselor at the Bahrain Information Affairs Authority, talking on behalf of the government. Good to have you on the news hour. Can you explain to our viewers why you're locking up small children when they say they're simply playing on the streets? Well, that's because uh, your information, I'm, I'm afraid, is not correct. Uh, the juvenile in question was not in custody uh, only for participating in an illegal gathering, but his involvement in burning tires and roadblocks. We have an obligation to the rest of the population of Bahrain to preserve uh, law and order. And uh, around the world, there are juveniles who, have, who are actually charged as adults sometimes. But he was uh, referred to a juvenile center and uh, the judge of the juvenile court has made his decision. So we need to uh, maintain law and order, and we are answerable to the vast majority of the people here in Bahrain. If he's found guilty of the offence of which you say he is guilty, what kind of sentence might he expect? Well, he will get the sentence of uh, a juvenile, and uh, he was uh, receiving social care in the three weeks he was in detention. But, but how and, long would that uh, sentence? How long could that sentence be? Years? Well, we are. We have been going through a, a huge reform process in the last couple of months after the BICI report, and I'm sure we're going to stick to international standards so that he is treated as a juvenile and only the juvenile laws and sentences will be applied. And does that mean you're either unwilling to tell me what the sentence could be or perhaps you just don't know? I mean, do you think that I would have the answer to somebody in the judiciary process? That is uh, an independent process that we have to wait and see what the final verdict will be. Well, I would imagine that there are statutes which lay down maximum and minimums for certain offences. Well, you're quite correct, but I'm uh, personally not aware of them. Uh, the juvenile court uh, uh, are codified uh, by their own laws, and uh, I cannot answer your question at this moment. Okay, Mr. Yes, Mr. Yes, Khalifa, uh, sir. beg your pardon, carry on. Yes. I was just going to say that yesterday we buried somebody that got out of his car to remove a burning tire, and an explosive de uh, device went off in his face. And uh, after three months of care, he was buried yesterday. So we are facing pockets of violence that turn out quite deadly sometimes. And I don't think it's fair to the rest of the population of Bahrain that this, uh, this violence continues. There have been suggestions from human rights activists who, who oppose, I have to say, who oppose the regime in Bahrain. So they would say this, you might say, uh, that your country has an inordinately high number of juveniles locked up at the moment for their association with uh, the street protests. How many are there? Well, whether the juveniles are high in number or not, I think what we need to do is not blur the vision between peaceful protests and violent extremists who are turning to the road to hinder the normal days, normal lives of uh, the people here in Bahrain. So it's not a matter of the number of juveniles that are uh, in detention, but we need to preserve law and order and uh, it, we have to, uh, you know, maintain uh, to make sure that uh, the people here in Bahrain are not hindered in any way. OK, thank you very much indeed, Abdulaziz Al-Khalifa, talking on behalf of the Bahraini government. Good to have you on the news, Al.